I had to goop goop doo doo. Oh, that's a Bobby does. Hello, welcome. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but every time I say hello, I need to go. Hello. I know I, I use the word actually a lot. I feel like I'm just waffling in this video. <laughs> hello and welcome back to my channel. And if you're just new here. I still haven't really decided what my channel's all about. I seem to be doing a lot of clothing hauls, so I think that's where the channel's heading. But anyway, today I haven't got a clothing haul for you. What I wanted to discuss today was my accent. And as you can see by the title, my accent is called Geordie. I get a lot of compliments on my accent. A lot of people seem to love my accent. I think Americans specifically like my accent because it's it's so different. So if you're a Geordie, in the comment below, hashtag Geordie, and let's see how many Geordies we can get to comment. It would really help us out if you press the like button and that'll help get my video noticed. I'd really appreciate that. And I think I'm gonna make this a part one of two or three videos. But just for today, I just wanted to sort of discuss the Geordie accent and Geordie accents in general. I'm sure you'll know a few words and for those of you who have heard Geordie speaking, you'll know that there's a few words that Geordies use a lot. I think I'll just touch on a couple of Geordie words in this part because I don't want to bore you. The most obvious one is why I pet and how a man. How a man just means come on and it can be used in lots of different phrases. Why I man means, well of course. And that's another thing, Geordies use man in everything. Everybody's a man. If you're a woman, you're a man. Everybody's a man. Everything is a man. Like, come on, man. and that's another one, like, like. Everything has to have like in. If you want to talk like a Geordie, you need to put the word like into a sentence as many times as you possibly can. Another myth about Geordie is the use of pet. When people are trying to imitate a Geordie accent, they'll often use the word pet. A lot of the younger generation don't use pet. I'm 46 and I don't think I've ever, ever called anybody pet. Me mum will call us pet. Me dad doesn't call us pet because he's Irish, but <laughs> But a lot of the older generation will call you pet. But in the younger generation, pet's not really used. And, and pet is just like a term of endearment. If you want to use it in a sentence, um, do you want anything from the shop, pet? You would just use it as a term, like love, sweetheart, darling. What you'll also find the older generation, they'll, they might call you pet, or petal, or pet lamb. Canny. Everything's canny. How's your fish and chips? Oh, it's canny. Canny, it's canny nice. Did you like that lad the other night? Oh, he was canny. Canny lad, eh, like. Another way you can use the word canny is gan canny, like go canny. If you are to go out on a journey, your man might say to you, gan canny on the roads, means take care on the roads. So another word I've got for you is ganna, G-A-N-N-A, -N -N and it means going. I'm gonna go to the shops. I'm going to go to the shops. There's, there's obviously different variation to the Geordie dialect. And depending on a few factors, so one factor could be where you live in Newcastle or Gateshead. Another factor could be the social circles that you hang around with. Another factor could be uh, your family. So growing up, I was always corrected if I said something Geordie. So if I said, if my mum asked us a question and I turned around and said, well, I don't know, which means I don't know, should go, you mean you don't know? So you'll be constantly corrected on your Geordie and like, and I, I would be corrected to say yes. And you would find that a lot with teachers as well. Teachers would say, you couldn't like, you couldn't turn around to a teacher and say, well, I don't even know. I don't know the answer to that question, so sorry. They would say, do you mean you don't know? So your teachers would correct you, your parents would often correct you. And like I say, this is just a, dis a disclaimer to say that it, 
everybody is different who has a Geordie accent. Everybody speaks differently, whatever walk of life you come from, what your parents are like. My dad's Irish and my mum is a Geordie. She was born in Gateshead and lived there all of her life. So although somebody from, say, America, listening to me and standing next to somebody who comes from Sunderland talking, they probably don't hear any changes in the dialect, but to me, I can tell straight away if somebody's not a Geordie. You, you can hear the twangs in their dialect. The other thing, the other accent that people tend to dip into when they're trying to do a Geordie accent, so they'll either go, they'll either start in, in Newcastle, they'll drift over to Sunderland, they'll end up in Middlesbrough, and then for some reason, and I don't know why, and it happens all the time, they end up in the Indian Ocean somewhere. So, it is a very tough accent to pull off, I think. Another word that you might hear used is bonnie. Now, bonnie can refer to a few things. Usually if you say, oh, she's bonnie, that means she's pretty. Or, you are right, bonnie lad? Means, are you okay? You nice boy? Usually you refer to bonnie lad as, it's like a term of endearment to a friend or, or whatever. Another one is, Bobby Dazzler. Now, Bobby Dazzler can refer to a couple of things. So, say if somebody gets engaged, so you might say to your friend, Oh, give us a look at your ring. Oh, that's a Bobby Dazzler. That means that's a nice shiny ring. Somebody may have a nice sparkly outfit on you. Oh, that's a Bobby Dazzler. Another word for you is Ben, spelled B A I R N. And that refers to a child. Oh, I'm just taking the Ben to school. Oh, the Bens are upstairs. They're getting right on my nerves. I feel like I'm just waffling in this video. <laughs> I hope it's making sense to some of you. I feel like I'm just plucking words out of the air and they're just going, oh, hey. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are enjoying this video, I might do another part two. If you want to see us react to actors playing a Geordie who aren't Geordie, then put the link to the YouTube down below for us in the comments. If you did enjoy it, let us know in the comments below. And, and you know, if you're enjoying these sort of vloggy type videos, let us know and I'll try and do some more. 